part whole, part whole 10 screened objects. So let's take a look at this. We know that these are two set, two sets of unifix cubes in a five and a five. So we know that there are 10 unifix cubes total. Okay. So we want to figure out, okay, how many are underneath that cover or that screen? Now you may want to look at it and just go, okay, I'm going to count the yellow and then count the one, the one green and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's no need to count those five yellow. Instead of going one, two, three, four, five, you know that you can see all the yellow and five, so just go five, six. So we now know that there's six. So what number goes with six to make 10? And we know that that number would be four. All right, let's take a look at this one again. We know that um, we have 10 unifix cubes connected. And we can see right there, there are four, and what number goes with four to make 10? And it would be six. Now, take a look at this one. Again, don't count those green ones because we know we can see all the green, and we know that there are five, so five, six, seven, so there's seven. So if we can see seven, how many are screen? If we're more kind of making 10, it would be three. Let's take a look at this one. We know that all of them are covered up except for one. If we know that there's 10 and there's only one covered up, we know that there would be one. All right, nine and one. Let's take a look at this one now. There's two. So what number goes with two to make 10? Now, I know that if the partner is really easy, I guarantee if you saw the partner that was under that screen, you'd be like, okay, I know what goes with that to make 10, but sometimes it's harder when you start with a smaller number. So if we have two, Eight, eight, two and eight go to. All right, let's take a look at this rack now, okay? And we can see this 10 rack is made up of five white and five red. And five and five go together to make 10. This one now. Let's take a look again. Don't count those white ones because we know that there's five. So instead of going one, two, three, four, five, just go five, six, seven. But we know there's seven and there are three. Seven and three make this one looks a little different, but it's not. We have three and two, and you know that three and two is five. So if we have five, how many are covered up? You know that there are five covered up, and the group is five and five. Now let's take a look here. We have one, and we have three, okay? Or I'm sorry, one and two, and we know that that is three. So if we have three, how many are screen? And we know that there are seven that were screened underneath. All right, let's take a look. This is a 10 frame now. I see, let's take a look at the top. Again, don't count it because we know the top of a 10 frame when it's full, it's five, right? So we have five and one, and that's six. So what goes with six to make 10? Four. And let's take a look at this one. We have five, and if we know that we have um, a 10 frame is made out of a five frame and a five frame, so if the, if the top is full, there's five, we know that what's underneath it, it's also going to be five. So five and five. Ooh, take a look at this one. We already had one to this one earlier, it just looked differently, but we have two. And what goes with two to make 10? And it is eight. 